From Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2113, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. We begin this week with a cautionary tale about towers and tower safety. This one from a tragedy outside a TV station in Missouri. The 2,000-foot-tall tower of a local public TV station in Webster County, Missouri, collapsed on the 19th of April, killing one worker and injuring three others. The crew was conducting maintenance outside Ozark Public Television Station KOZK when the structure toppled. Several members of the crew were on the tower about 105 feet off the ground when the collapse occurred. The worker who was killed had been trapped beneath the tower's debris. The station is a public broadcasting system affiliate operated by Missouri State University. Stations in the region have assisted by helping restore service to the station. Local authorities are investigating to determine the cause. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Christian Kudnick, K0STH. The story is a reminder as well to all of our listeners to please follow safety precautions when doing any tower work. Whether commercial broadcast or amateur, you can't be careful enough. The amateur radio operator who brought television to the White House has become a silent key. Frank Victor Tarkington, W3KLQ, the amateur radio operator who installed the first White House TV set for President Harry S. Truman in 1948, has become a silent key. Those who worked the Navy Veteran Station in Silver Spring, Maryland, were making contact with a slice of history. The World War II vet had witnessed the arming of the Enola Gay while he was on the island of Tinian operating the radar station. By the time he left the service, he had been advanced to chief radio man. After the war, he worked for RCA, and in 1948, it was his job to install a 10-inch screen in the White House Oval Office so President Truman could watch the opening of Congress that year. Frank was an avid CW enthusiast, according to John Creel, WB3GXW. John and Frank, and many others, could be heard on the WB3GXW two-meter repeater in Silver Spring, Maryland, up until a few years ago. The Oakland, California native died on April 19th at the age of 102. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Heather Emby, KB3TZD. For bicycle enthusiasts in Australia, operating mobile was perhaps never this much fun. Amateur Radio is on a roll in Australia, and when we say roll, we do mean roll. Hams are rolling out their bicycles, their trikes, and even their velomobiles, and going places. Of course, they're not going anywhere without their trusty rigs. Members of a month-old online group called Pedal Radio have been promoting the combination of push power and foot power with the idea that fitness leads to fellowship and probably more than a few good QSOs. There is also a homebrew aspect to the group as some members share their tips for building your own trike. Most of the members right now are in VK3. If you want to try talking coast to coast while you're coasting, this group wouldn't mind if you rolled on in. Send a post to the group's address, pedalradio at groups.io. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Graham Kemp, VK4BB. It's May, the final month in the nominating period for the 2018 Bill Pasternak WA6ITF Amateur Radio Newsline Young Ham of the Year Award. You'll find full information and the nominating form on our website, www.arnewsline.org. Just look at the top under the YHOTY tab. Nominations close at midnight Thursday, May 31st. For the rest of this week's Amateur Radio News, please listen to the full Amateur Radio Newsline report online on a repeater near you or on shortwave radio station WTWW at 9930 and 5085 kilohertz. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at www.arnewsline.org. With Christian Kudnick, K0STH, Heather MB, KB3TZD, Graham Kemp, VK4BB, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW. 7-3. We'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.